Welcome back to Water Park Splashing. It's me, Tom Derrick, and in today's video, I'm going to rank and review your favourite rides at Adventure World. So, starting off with a number 10 spot, you guys picked Sea Serpent. And of course, we had to begin the list with a snake themed slide. But oh boy, is that not the only reason? With as soon as you've taken your seat in one of the dinghies, one or two person dinghies, in fact. So, if you want to go on your own, you can do that. But if you want to go with a pair, you can do that too. You will begin by going through a tube. It gets dark and dark as you go throughout, then you will come out into the open air, provide some amazing views across the park, before then finishing off with a few sharp twists and turns into the water at the end. The thing is, this is not the craziest or the most adventurous or sort of water size in the world, but it is a really good fun family size that should definitely be taken on your visit. We knew the classic size were not going to last long, as next up we've got the Wahoo Speed Size. And if you got it by my awesome Wahoo, you are going to go down here very, very fast. This is by far one of the shortest sides of the park, lasting literally from the time I started this conversation to finishing it now. However, it definitely makes up for with the speed. You begin by lying down on the side itself, and as a heads up, listen to them when they say, cross your arms and legs, because if the speed you go down here, you probably don't want to be hitting the sides and then you go down. Whether you choose the yellow or the green option, you'll be going down over some bumps again and again and again before then the final splashdown at the end where you'll pretty much collide over the water. Yeah, look at this guy over here. Look how far he goes over. Look, whoa, he literally like you're sliding along. That's awesome. Love that. So if you have a need for speed, well then the Wahoo speed size are definitely the size for you. I know this is a water park splashing video and not a theme park hosting one. However, what makes Adventure World so unique, but also awesome at the same time, is that they combine both the size and the rise into one amazing park, with our next attraction right here being Dragon Express, the park's junior roller coaster. I do want to point out as well, before we do begin discussing all of Adventure World's rides, is that you are able to ride those attractions in your swimwear, but obviously you cannot go on the size in your normal clothes. So when you decide when to go, and of course what to wear, keep that in mind. As even if you do go planning to do just one or the other, when you get there you may change your mind. About the dragon experience itself though, I did not want to drag on and on and on about it for too long, but it is really good fun with your dragon twisting and turning around the track, making a perfect first adventure for the younger adventurers out there, or anyone who's not brave enough yet to do Abyss. As much as you can now have a theme park with our roller coaster, you can now have a water park with our racer side. As next up on our list, we have got Tidal Wave, and it does follow the basic layout, but to be honest, it doesn't need to change. These are so much fun. For starters, you can, and by can, I mean you have to take on this adventure on your front. So no lifeguards going to be turning you off this time for lying on your front as you go down, with the entire ride being designed for you to lie on your front on a mat, go down the drops, over even more airtime time hills and then completing the ride. But what I love so much about this attraction is the ending, as even though it is the saddest part when you're on the ride itself, what is so awesome about it is that it records both your score and your time. Meaning yes, no one can cheat, but also even if you're going down on your own, you can also try to beat your score every single time, which is quite cool in itself. The question is though, will you become the Tidal Wave Champion or take a more leisurely ride down those bumps? Now in my eyes, you know you're visiting an amazing water park when the number 6 spot, yes, the number 6 spot on the top 10 list is the world's longest pro side tornado. And whilst to many, including myself, I didn't really know what it meant, what I do know is that the crack in our adventure world is one amazing ride, with for starters you being able to sit on a raft of 4 people, meaning that you can share all of those reactions both good and what would be bad. When you plummet down that drop, up what I can only imagine is the pro size tornado and rock back and forth down it. How awesome is that? I mean, even watching back of the clips right now, it's not only the ride that is awesome, but the queue line, the views, and that incredible station building. I mean, you're literally beginning on a boat. Yeah, that's just insane. I can't imagine you'll find a side much more feeling than that on this list. If you are scared of heights, then it's probably best to skip to our next ride, or just don't look up, as next up we have got the Inferno. And as scary as the name may suggest it is, it is even scarier than that with you beginning on this drop tower by shooting at some crazy speeds to the top of a park, providing for a split second, a split second I want to point out guys, some of the best views across the park, all before dropping and bouncing, again, 
and again, and again, and when you think it's all came to the end, you will then shoot up again, pause for a little bit longer this time, provide those views for a bit more time, before then dropping again. Oh wait, what's that? That is water part splashing's rubber ducky, and it will always find some weird places to hide itself in this video. So when you spot it in the video from now on, comment down below how many you find, and where you find it, and we'll pin the first correct comment. The three of eyes are definitely coming on now. This is Rampage and I think it is. Wait a second. Yep, it is a ride that's got some unexpected turns, but we'll get onto that later on. As for starters, this ride will begin by you boarding a giant gondola. Yes, the one behind the giant meteor who's clearly having a rampage. In a nutshell, the two arms that you are connected to will then rotate around and around, whilst the gondola that you are sat in can both lock and freely spin, which then combined with a bit of physics as well, will basically send you flipping upside down at times a lot, and at other times have a nice little relax. Well, maybe not so much of that one. And you know that thing I mentioned earlier, the unique part of this ride? Well, this is it. It is so crazy, I've seen it before, but basically, then the arms that you're connected to will go in opposite directions, leaving you <laughs> doing this. I mean, look at it. Crazy. I just feel so sorry for anyone going on this ride and not realising what is going to happen because sitting on there, if that starts moving like that, woo, there may be a few screams. As a heads up for any of my non-Australian listeners out there, when visiting a park like this in Australia, any ride that is so scary that it can almost not be risen will either be named after a spider or a snake. I love it, but that's pretty much the truth. And with our next ride, Black Widow, it is definitely that. Within a spider web, did you see what I did there? Spider, Black Widow, spider web. You will be boarding one of these gondolas, which yes, once again faces inwards to one another, meaning at one point you could be sharing those reactions. But then at the end of the day, as you can see by the POV right now, you will not be seeing everyone else's faces. With you flipping around, twisting, and just going in every direction possible, so much so that you cannot even see or work out where you even are on this absolutely petrifying attraction. We have now made it into the top two territory and it is such an amazing collection of rides. It was not hard to choose between the two because one's a lot better than the other, but they are both such amazing attractions. And I know that as soon as you experience that wind rushing sensation against your face and Goliath, you'll know exactly what I mean. You'll be experiencing a lot of it as well, with as soon as you take your seat, a bit like a giant version of your charter swing set, you'll swing back and forth higher and higher whilst also spinning around non-stop, meaning at times you'll be facing directly into the sky, other times you'll be facing directly towards the ground, but the best times are when you're going straight forward towards the next turn and that wind rushes into your face. Trust me, until you ride it you'll not know what I mean, but once you have you'll realise why this is a must do. Yeah, it's a no-brainer, our number one spot has got to go to Abyss. To think that a ride like this is at a theme park like this is absolutely insane. There is no time to discuss everything this ride has to offer, but let me say two things. One, there'll be something on this ride that will scare you, whether the drop, the upwards lift hill, the turns, the twists, the loops, the inversions, the theming, whatever, there'll most likely be something that scares you, in a good way, but still scares you. And two, once you get off, your reverse wild trip to not only Adventure World, but Perth in general, would be nowhere near complete without it. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye.